I think that President Obama did want to close it, but I think uh, his administration might have been somewhat naive about the ease with which they would be able to locate places to send these sorts of people. Uh, I think Obama administration officials, when they came in, thought the reason the international community wasn't embracing resettling Guantanamo detainees was because they didn't like the Bush administration. When the reality was, all of these, none of these countries want to take in someone who might have had some past affiliation with al-Qaeda or the Taliban. And so going forward, if the facility is ever going to close, the international community is going to need to step together along with the United States and think about where they might be able to send these people. I think that's one of the tragedies of the, of the entire Guantanamo system, is that in certain instances, the government, as I said, overreacted, decided in the immediate aftermath, the horrors of 9-11, to respond to it through the use of these enhanced interrogation techniques. And one of the consequences of that decision that wasn't really fully thought through at the time these decisions were being made is, well, once we've done this, what are we going to do with this person? Uh, and to the extent that the result is that prosecutors don't feel comfortable bringing the case, that's a very difficult problem for the United States.